quite rare to have this intersectoral discussion. I love seeing academics, researchers, people who have that government perspective. It's something that we just need to see more of. Sky allows us to take a step back to ask what we need to unblock in order to create pathways for AI development and deployment. Our conviction is that when it comes to AI, it is not only what Singapore can learn from the world, it is also what we can contribute to it. Just to have this conversation in Singapore, I think is so needed to the earlier question about what should we be prioritizing. It's so important to have that face time, to have that hard conversation, um, to find that overlap, to find what explicitly can we move forward. We all have much more in common. When it comes to the effects of technology on our lives, our societies, our institutions, and our people, there's far more in common than divides us. We shouldn't see this as the only conference or the only platform or the only time we get together. The whole point is to be plugged into so many other efforts that are happening in parallel and around the world. Singapore believes in the long-term potential of AI. And our aspiration is to fully leverage AI's capabilities to improve our lives. We want to harness AI for the public good, for Singapore and for the world. And I hope that all of you see this as a collective effort to sow the seeds for the type of multi-stakeholder, multidisciplinary, and multinational partnership that a technology like AI demands of all of us. I would encourage every talent in the workforce to embrace the change that is uh, coming our way. Uh, embrace the change by improving your knowledge and understanding of what AI can do and also to upskill with the knowledge of how AI can improve productivity and efficiency in the way we do things today. So I would say do not fear change but embrace the change and be part of that journey ahead. Yeah.